I created an animated film using artificial intelligence. While all these new AI tools can really speed up your workflow, I personally find that they're very random and really hard to control. So I created a workflow that gives me complete directorial control. Also, I wanted to do this for cheap. And in fact, the workflow that I came up with can be done completely for free. So let me show you how. It all starts with planning, uh, just like you would with any other film project. Uh, maybe a script, a storyboard. First, I filmed the reference for the characters, their positioning and their acting, uh, for real using me and my friend uh, as the actors. I use this portable green screen that allows me to easily then separate the characters from the background. Then I input each of these shots into an AI model that essentially converts it to an animated version of it. Now this is done through the Comfy UI browser-based interface that uses nodes. Uh, you can download my workflow that I used, which is a culmination of various AI wizards uh, that like to tinker and, and come up with all this technical stuff. Uh, anyways, I kind of tweaked it to my own liking. Once you download and then open my workflow and then install all the models that the workflow uses, then you can simply load in your input shot, uh, then adjust your resolution. This then goes into the IP adapter workflow, which basically converts the input video into a prompt that the AI model can understand. Until recently, this kind of workflow only worked with a single input image. But now, thanks to a user named Inner Reflections, uh, who figured out how to use the entire video as an input, we can get a lot more specific in directing the AI models. We can also use extra positive and negative text prompts to guide uh, artificial intelligence. Plus, there's a lot of other settings that you can adjust to sort of fine-tune the final look. If you guys are interested in a very detailed step-by-step -step video of how to do this whole process, then uh, let me know in the comments. Once you create your animated character video, the next step is to create the backgrounds. I did this using Midjourney, which unfortunately is no longer free. Still, I find that it creates the best results, so I would recommend that you sign up for the monthly fee of $8. There's also many other free alternatives, like for example the DZ Go. Simply type in your text prompt and watch the AI create the background that you need. Uh, this will take a few tries to fine tune and get the exact kind of look that you need. Uh, then the last step is to put it all together. Uh, you can use any compositing software. Personally, I like to use DaVinci Resolve because I think it's the best. First, remove the green screen using the Delta keyer inside of the Fusion tab. Then I place a background behind it using a merge node. Finally, you can add any other visual elements like these lightning bolts and sparks, which you can find a ton of for free online. For the first shot, I also put each layer in 3D space so that I could get that classic animation parallax effect. Then just add your sound effects and music. Now here is my finished film test. I am still making more tests to kind of fine tune my whole process so that I can do a longer animated film. Some of the things I found that the AI had problems with was, for example, figuring out exactly where the facial features are going to be, especially when the character is smaller in the shot. Some things I noticed that make this process better is to shoot your input video with a deep depth of field and also a high shutter speed so that each frame of a video is as sharp as it can be. This makes it easier for the AI models to follow your video input. Also, it would be helpful to have very sort of flat looking makeup and costumes and props that don't have too many intricate details uh, so that you're not confusing the artificial intelligence. Another exciting thing is that you can download a lot of different AI models out there that create different looks. I'll provide some of the links below to the ones that I like. Uh, you can even create a video that looks like a Pixar animated film uh, or for example, a sketch line drawing or also a comic book look. There's a ton of different looks that you can find on Civit AI. Hope you guys enjoyed this overview of how to direct AI to help you create an animated film. Uh, now, don't worry about artificial intelligence too much. While it will replace many jobs out there, I don't think it's ever going to completely replace human creativity. Uh, anyways, if you have any other questions or suggestions, uh, then let me, let me know in the comments below. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. And fantasy action. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I would cover up your face just a little more because you look a little bit more ominous like that. Like right there, yep. Now, see, now you're going to want to make this movie. Ha 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 